back to Houston Life. We are gearing up for Memorial Day weekend on Monday, and the Astros play home at Minute Maid Park. Ooh. But what is the best place to watch the game besides Ooh, Minute Maid Park? Pick Justin Stapleton. Uh, that would be what our KPRC2 insiders voted. 43% of them said BGOs. BGOs. I'll be 44% because it's amazing. BGOs, that's right. It's I'm real good, yeah. yeah. So as you might have guessed, the, the restaurant is named after former Astro player and Hall of Famer, mm -hmm. wink, wink, Craig Biggio. It's blocks from the stadium inside the marquee, uh, excuse me, the Marriott Marquee. Key Houston to give us preview of the game day menu is Biggio's executive chef. That would be Chef Paolo or Pablo, excuse me, Aguirre. Welcome to the show. Thank you for bringing this amazing food spread today to kind of show off what is on your menu at Biggio's. First of all, for fans who have not made their way into Biggio's, can you talk about if Craig does come in at time to time and kind of order things off the menu himself? Yes, uh, actually, yes. Uh, he usually stopped by. Uh, during the postseason, during the season, uh, when Astros was playing, just to say hi to people, greet and meet people. He's very friendly. He's, he's always, always been great. so nice yeah. to fans. Yeah. Anytime you've no, he's ever. Great he's very nice. Yeah. Um, he, he enjoys whenever he comes by. Yeah. Usually when the restaurant is full, the two-story, the, the restaurant is full. So it, it's great to see him every time right. that he comes it's by. It's so wonderful. Yeah. Does, he, does he come in sometimes as Gordon Ramsay? And does he go, <laughs> it's raw. It's raw. <laughs> so it's funny because actually a lot of recipes that we have, come from his family, oh, like wow. uh, the onion dip we're going to try later, Ooh, okay. that's his recipe, that's his family recipe, so okay. we're trying to incorporate the more that we can. That's so yeah. wonderful, that's Chef. It smells so, so amazing in yeah. here. You've brought just a couple of things off the menu. Justin, you said you've taken your family there before. I have, yeah, it's great. I have yet to great. be in the restaurant, so what are we going to see here today? What do you have brought for us? <clears throat> so we have several dishes. Uh, we, You are going to make two. Me? You, both of you are going to make one it. each. <laughs> uh, you're going to be doing the... The tacos, brisket tacos, okay. famous. I can tell you, we go through around 30 brisket a day. Oh, wow. wow. Yes. A day? A whole brisket yeah. a day. Holy Yeah, so the smokers don't stop. Customers know better. So we yeah. smoke it actually 16 hours every day inside the kitchen. We have a huge smoker. Can you imagine that? I can. Yeah. Holy moly. And we have a vegetarian option. It's called uh, Drunken Mushrooms. Mm. So we love to partnership with uh, uh, some of local breweries. We have around 25 in the walking distance from, mm -hmm. from the marquee. It's great. So we have to partnership. So that's why we create the Drunken Mushrooms. So we pretty much braise the mushrooms in the, in the beer. Then we incorporate some poblano peppers and caramelized onions, and we do the jalapeno cheese on mm. it. So we do like a grilled cheese sandwich. So this is a good adult version. Good version. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it. First of all, this is a lot bigger than the bread that I use at home. Well, I, I was going to say that's that's a, that bread. That is that is that is that is an exact that is a chef size piece of <laughs> bread right there. Right? Hey, it's Texas size. That right? Texas right? size. Yeah. Right. There we go. So I'm going to take two of the pieces of cheese and put them on each slice of bread. Right, okay. chef? Yes. Yeah, so now these, what kind of mushrooms are these, chef? If uh, folks are interested. Those are baby bella mushrooms. Mushroom. Okay. Yes. So it's a little bit more meaty than yeah. regular bottom mushrooms or okay. white mushrooms. So those are easier to cook with or they, they get more of the flavor that you're cooking they with? They get more of the flavor because okay. they're more meaty. Yeah. They don't shrink that much. Okay. Got so it. it's, it's, really, it's a really good option. And what kind of cheese is this? Uh, that's a Gouda jalapeno. Oh, my jalapeno really with good. Good. Okay. So you've already cooked the drunken oh. mushrooms. And what else is in there? Is it just grilled onions and jalapenos? And the poblano. And no the jalapeno. Ooh. The poblano. jalapenos come from the cheese. I gotcha. Cheese, yes. Okay. So we're going to take this and we're going to put it right there, right? Yes, correct. That's going to be your job. Okay. The... And that's my job. Yeah. All right. Okay. Get at it. It smells so good. I know time after time we try to convey the smells of some of the things that we're cooking in here, yeah. but this smells so amazing. It's almost like you could go to Biggio's and it's get it. It's almost like you could go get it and smell it. Okay. Yeah. Just all is. of this right here? All of this. This is like a you know, go it's, for it's, it. it. Go for it. it. While you're doing that, Lauren, okay. I always wanted to, so if, for folks that are watching us now, if you're new to, to Houston, you're new to Texas, like as you know, I was many years ago, um, I cannot stress enough how much flavor there is in the poblanos and jalapenos and whatnot because you know if you're not a texas person if you're from the midwest like me you always think peppers and you think oh well it's hot right a of poblano course, is of hot. course of jalapeno course. is hot but i didn't realize until i moved here how much taste there is with everything chef. exactly and the way that we prepare we fire roast it mm -hmm. then we remove the skin and now we're going to be able to use it so we get all the flavor the smokiness and everything comes out right away when you grill it the oh, seeds are where the heat comes yes, from. yes so that's right? what i figured yeah, out yeah i found that out by accident <laughs> whoops <laughs> that's great that's okay great. so i have closed the the grilled cheese right here and Correct. we're just going to cook this is this how it goes yeah so of course you know kitchen French butter. Butter. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, butter it out. Butter. <laughs> so we're gonna put this little guy right oh, here. That that's not a little guy. That's a big guy. That's a <laughs> hey, Texas size. Texas All right. Size guy. <laughs> Sandwich and a half. So we're gonna put it in there. We're gonna leave it. Okay. We're gonna forget about it. Oh look, and one slip. Oh, how mm. convenient. Why don't you just Impossible. clean that, clean oh, that up right there? <laughs> 
<laughs> now we're going to go to our next one. All right, Justin, come on okay. over. That's your phone. Okay. Right? This is part of being a chef. You got to try the food, right, chef? Oh, yeah. yes. Okay. Okay, so now we're making your famous brisket tacos, right? Yes. Okay, so you said we have warm. Now, question, and I know this sometimes is just a preference for a restaurant or a chef. Do you prefer corn or flour tortilla? Uh, for this dish, yeah. I'd rather do a flour tortillas. Okay. Anything related to pork? Oh, it tastes better with corn tortillas. Corn tortillas okay, with okay, pork. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. All right, good to know. And this is going to be, a, this is a really hearty taco, so okay. you need more, like, strong from the Something flour Something that's not going to fall apart. Yeah. yeah. Got it. That's, uh -huh. what, that's why I was asking, yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. so okay. what we're going to do, we're going to put the meat oh, right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put the meat first. All right, meat first. Oh, you, you got it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah, he's got experience. Yeah. <laughs> not really. Tacos. Okay. But I play one on TV. <laughs> ah, you see what I did there? Hey. <laughs> In that uh, brisket, yeah, is marinated with the same juices that with the drippings. Like oh. I told you, we cook around 30 uh, per day, so yeah. we have a lot of drippings. Trust me. A lot. Yes. <laughs> okay. Lot. Good. Okay. So we season it. Right. Right. See, look at look at Chef. Ah, look, 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 look at. He knows. Don't be shy. No, no. He's like we're bosses. Bosses scary. are watching. Yeah. Yeah, we're okay. <laughs> there is a reason. There is a reason that you go through 30 go a day. Through 30 yeah. Percent, right? yeah, well, okay. that's the thing. Some people feel like they're gypped sometimes because there's not yeah. enough of the really good meat in their taco. Yeah. But this is definitely loaded correct. Up. That looks amazing. Yeah. So now we're gonna place it in, in this little guy. Okay. okay. And the reason that we love to do brisket tacos and everything, and uh -huh. then it's really friendly with game days and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Is the reason behind that sometimes you get your family on the weekend, right? Mm -hmm. And then you cook a whole brisket. Then yeah. one is cold, then you can just warm it up to do breakfast Got and stuff it. like that. But if we warm it up with a little bit of sauce and everything, that you have this amazing juicy meat that you can transform into tacos. Love so okay. That's okay. The whole now, even though now I could eat that taco okay. just like that, what else yeah. are you adding into this? So we're going to be adding the sauce. Sorry. First. No, no, you're good. This is a barbecue sauce. Okay, so this and goes on first or last? Yes, that was going first. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll put that on. Is this a special kind of barbecue sauce? It's the barbecue that we do at home, okay. uh, at the hotel. Okay. This is my home. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, right. <laughs> basically home number two for you, chef. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Correct. And then okay. just barbecue mixed with some may mayo and the drippings, smoked drippings. Now okay. we're going to go first with the uh, pickled onions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pickled right, onions. So pickled onions on here. Now, Chef, you also have some of the other offerings that you have at the restaurant on, on display for us. The Dirty Dog, this is ginormous. Is oh, this what we're looking at right here? I didn't here? even see But I that. also want to look at the, the Biggio Melt right there with the huge cut pickles that you have with the chips. And oh, what's on the very end? Something that. with mac and cheese, I can see. So, yes, again, part of the thing, you save the, the, some of the trimmings from the brisket, and then you do an amazing mac and cheese for your family oh. on that weekday, on the weekend, whenever oh, you're watching. Is there the also a, a dessert on the end, too? Um, so right we there? have the out of the bowl cheesecake, oh, so it's like cute. a little uh, a baseball shape. Very so cute. we just decorate the same thing. And this is the, the brisket mac and cheese, yes. So Ooh. we have the burnt ends. Uh, then we have the Goodness. video melt, video melt, which is yeah. video melt yes. is the brisket that sounds weird. with. Uh. Again, with the cheese, cheese. pickled yeah. onions. Oh my goodness! They have the small. Um, just how's it going? I'm doing good. How am I, how am I doing, Chef? My hired? <laughs> you are just. <laughs> I'm doing amazing. Amazing. And These can we look talk, so you good. You asked about the drunken mushrooms. You said that they are with a Carbach Love Street beer. That's the one that you're using. Correct. Yeah, okay. that's the one that we use for Wonderful. this recipe. Look at that! We made our plates. It looks amazing. It looks really, really good. Is wow. the grilled cheese finished as well? Done. It's done. Look at that. <gasps> look at that. That's a grilled cheese. Knife right there. But which knife? The big one? Yeah, the big one. Okay, just okay. hand it to you that way. All right. You okay. want to try that, Lauren? Here, uh, yes, yes, Switch I out. Do, do yes, it. I you do. made it. You try it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, gosh. Okay. That looks I can cut it a little bit more. Oh, no, no, no. That's okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> Lauren's like, I got this. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. It's out of the park. How about oh. I'll take this? Why don't you do that? that? Okay. Mm, chef, hey, thank don't you remember, so much. Yeah, coming up this week, as you said, Strozer in town. You guys are open. You're ready to rock and roll. We are fully staffed. We are doing just waiting for the people to show up. I love it, Chef. I'm there. Thank I'm you so much. there. Okay. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Thank you. You take care of that, Lauren. All right, hey, coming up after the break, a look at what's coming up next week Ooh. on Houston Life. I'll take care of this, too. Okay. <laughs> <Local> yeah. <laughs> streaming right now on the KPRC2 Plus 